open bottom. The sides are going to be closed off by that stuff cut to two by eight. Okay. And the roof is going to be covered eventually, but I think that will come later. Okay. And so... What's the roof going to be? That. And the They're chickens are going to live in there? The chickens are going to live in there. They're going to be... It's not going to be totally covered, though. There's going to be th three of four quadrants. Three quarters of the roof are going to be covered with that. And then the fourth one's going to be chicken netting for open air. And half of the walls are going to be open netting, and the rest is going to be covered. So there's plenty of ventilation. And we're going to drill holes in that in that fly so that there's more air current because it could get hot this summer. Right. Um, are we talking about possibly tilting the roof a little bit? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna need to figure out a means of pitching, pitching the, roof. the roof so water falls away. And sort of making it up as we go. I built one that was like half the size last year with corrugated aluminum for the roof, but that cost us way too expensive. Is it? Yeah, three bucks a square foot or something like that. Hmm. So I guess the idea is even not once, right? Yeah, but with like sheep and goats running around, they jump on top of it and beat it up and. I think this will be stronger. So there'll be sheep and goats on top of the chicken coop? Uh, the, sh the, <laughs> she <laughs> the sheep, uh, probably not. Probably not so much. That's why the they're not really daredevils. They're kind of, but um, the little lambs will. There are lambs right now. You should. So what happens where there's, more there's than one lamb chicken now? wire? There's like six or seven. What happens where there's chicken wire on the roof as far as uh, wandering goats? Wandering goats. Well, in my experience, they don't jump on that thing. Because that, they, th we did one of these last year, and they didn't—they didn't really dare jump on that. They didn't jump on it a whole lot. We're gonna keep the goats away. The goats will climb all over it, like like kids at Chuck E. Cheese. But um, if we, yeah, kids, kids, you can meet our kids. They're, they're over there if you want. Okay. You can lift them out. So, so you're going to see the pants here, is that right? Well, no, I mean, that you no, I mean, the, the, the guy, I rent, I rent, I built one of these half the size, basically the same size. And I know, yeah, we're going to do diagonal bracing from there down to the corners okay. on all sides. We're going to do internal diagonal bracing. There's going to be, you know, when these are standing up, there's going to be a 2x4x12 by by going between these two to give it some stability so it doesn't move whatever laterally or and then okay. on those you know if those if two if if those meet in the middle and across they're going to be diagonal braces going from there down to those down to those okay so okay we're going to reinforce the strapping okay this is all the 2x4 framing and the rest is going to be 1x3